Welcome to Heel & Toe. Today we're looking at getting seat bolster protectors fitted onto the spider. We're measuring protectors for the bolsters at the moment. So how long does it actually take to manufacture? Um, Roughly. Four or five hours. Really? Just make a set. Yeah. Once you've got pattern wow. and everything, about four or five hours. Four or five hours, wow, yeah, okay. The, the, the detail is in this. See how this is French seamed? This right. is called a French seam, the way this is stitched, like a right. double stitch. Right. Okay, so the difficulty is that we have to French seam this all around here. Right. And the machine has to be set quite low, and it's a twin stitch machine. Right. So it, it, it stitches along. Um, that's quite time consuming to get it right. It's very slow to make sure the line is nice and straight, like the factory do. Right. If you like. So right. That's the most time consuming. And then, obviously, once you've got the leather at the hide on the, on, on the trim table, you know, you've got to cut all these out. And then we might be cutting a, a couple of sets out. And I normally save two or three orders for one go because it's easy. Right, right, um, right. But yeah, so we've been meaning to make um, um, a folding bucket one for a while yeah, and, and yeah. find a suitable guinea pig. Right, hence yourself. right, so, yeah, I'll be, I don't mind being a guinea yeah, pig. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, you know, you'll be the first one to get our, um, our um, folding ones. Okay, cool. For instance, these covers okay, yeah. that I do a lot, probably do four or five sets a week right. worldwide. Right. I must, we must have made pretty much 300 sets now right. of these. We're right. really popular. We're really big in that area as well. So when you say covers, are you saying that basically they're replacements or do they go on top of it? Basically? No, 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 no. Um, I'll show you. So this, right. this seat, the way it comes out, okay, yeah. It's all Velcroed in. Okay, okay. Okay, so what you right. would do yeah. is basically take that cover off, we make right. a replacement, and you put a replacement on. Okay, hence, okay, okay, okay. You know, right, got bang, it. you've got a new interior. Right, so it's basically going on top to protect the, the underlayer? No. Oh, no, 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 no. it's replacing you, it. You're just replacing it okay. with a different material normally. Oh, I see, I see um, what I mean, okay. Gotcha. You know, so right, that right. stuff that I showed you in there, that 911R is quite popular. So people take this off, this Alcantara, yeah. Then put our replacement on. Yeah, right. And then say, for instance, if you sell the car, you can yeah, put yeah. the original right, back okay, on. Right, okay, Because it's original Porsche material, lots of people say, no, no, no. I'm right, no, I get, got it, got it. Yeah. Right, okay. All right. Okay, good. Um, I'll, uh, I'll show you some of this leather, this 8YR, on a hide before we go. And you can yeah, see all right. So over time, uh, you can see that the bolster sides, they, uh, or should I say bolsters, uh, start to wear. Um, you can just about see it from here and there's the sunlight coming through but that's the kind of areas that get worn from getting in and out of the car okay so let's take a look around the uh, trim shop because it's uh, well to me it's very interesting hope you guys will like it as well so basically these are the the seat cover covers taken out from my car so they could do the measurement for the bolsters and here we have a sample of the bolsters so it's going to look something similar to this and here we got some seat covers for a GT3 996 GT3 We also have restoration uh, work going on here. 
as in full assembly after restoration. Let's take a look around. There were a 1972 Porsche here, 1972 9-11. Hi James. Hi. So, so what are you actually doing at the moment? Uh, I'm just fitting the, all the components to make the, the inside of the door work. Put this weather membrane on. Right. The moisture out. Right. Just been aligning the frames to the targa roof that we fitted. Right. And starting to put it all back together. Right. So usually, how long does this process take? Um, I started the targa roof Tuesday. Right. So a good a good three four days to get it all lined up and fitted properly. Right, right, right. Okay. Just myself. Right. Okay. Yeah, it looks really good. Really, really good. So the whole <coughs> so the whole process. How long is that likely to take? It's like to hand it, hand it back to the customer. Uh, this car arrived Friday. Yeah. And I only started working on it Monday. Okay. So hopefully it should be ready for collections tomorrow. Wow, that is. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's well, from my point of view, that's quite a quick turnaround. <laughs> wow. Very busy. Yeah, good. Thanks, James. No worries. So this, this was a 1973? Yeah, it's a 1973. Yeah. Um, that woman's had sort of partially back restored. Yeah, okay. A bit of bodywork, paint, and uh, an interior. Right, right. Cheers. So that's the new Targa roof fitted on there. One thing that's always intrigued me is how do people get in and out of Porsche bucket seats? Allow me to show you how I do it. So I go in kind of like with my back to the door, foot in, and then I put my bum down on the seat. So I'm like this, and then I turn around. Like so. So that's done, that's cool, right? Now coming out, <coughs> coming out is actually more challenging. So the way I've, I've, I, I do it is I twist around, get my legs out, put my fist on the floor, 
and then push from the back with my arm in the back seat and then I come out like that. So it's not very glamorous getting in and out. Um, and let, leave in the you know let, let me know in the comments how you guys do it.